Hello friends, today's message on the subject of how to become red hot for Jesus deals with one of the most important things if we want to be red hot for Jesus. First and foremost, we must know him. The Bible says that A man must be born again. Jesus spoke to Nicodemus and said, you must be born again. And Nicodemus said, how can a man be born when he's old? Is he supposed to go back into his mother's womb and be born again? And Jesus said, no, Nicodemus. You have to be born spiritually. Our parents give us our physical birth, but God gives us a spiritual birth. You see, the Bible says that we're dead in our sins. We're born into this world in sin. Our first great, 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 great parents, Adam and Eve, God created them, put them in the garden, said they could eat from any tree, but they could not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, for the day they ate from that tree, they would die. So the Bible says that we've all sinned likewise, and we've all come short of the glory of God. So the problem now is that we have to come to know him and we have to hear the gospel message and the gospel message tells us that we've all sinned and that we've all broken God's laws and that we've all fallen short of God's glory and that sin makes us guilty before a holy God and if God gave us justice we'd be without hope we'd be lost forever. The Bible says it's appointed unto man once to die and after this the judgment. We don't like to think about that. But God created us and he's given us life on this earth and one day we're going to meet him. The Bible teaches that we're accountable to God. So if we're lost, that's the bad news. But the good news is that God didn't leave us in our lost condition. He said, that God so loved the world in John three sixteen that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. Do you believe in Jesus Christ today? Not just that he was a historical figure. Not just that he is a real person. I give mental assent like many people do. But have you come to him personally and bowed your knees before him and said, Lord, I'm a sinner and I need you to save me. The Bible may be foreign to you. You may not understand the message. You may not have grown up with Christian parents. You may not have been born in a Christian home and you may have confusion when it comes to God. But I wanna challenge you to seek the Lord while he may be found. The Bible tells us that if we seek, we'll find. If we knock, the door will be opened. If we ask, it will be given to us. But just like a person that finds gold, very rarely do you find gold just laying out on the ground. Sometimes 
we have to dig for treasure. And God is the greatest treasure. To know Him, to know Jesus, is eternal life. He is eternal life. So if we know Christ, if we receive Christ, we receive eternal life. The Bible says, as many as received him to those he became, he gave the right to become the children of God. So I want to challenge you today to seek the Lord. Go to a quiet place like this. Kneel down in your bedroom, wherever you are, and cry out to the Lord. The Bible says, whoever calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. When we come to God honestly, in brokenness and repentance, and say, God, I may not understand everything about you, but I want to know you. I want to know your salvation. That's the kind of prayer God hears. The Bible talks so much about prayer and calling out to God and seeking Him. And in the book of Hebrews, it tells us that God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. So I want to encourage you to seek Him, even if you are a Christian. Um, one of the ways we become red hot for Jesus is by spending daily time with Him. I found this quiet place next to my house. You can come to a quiet place and the Bible tells us that we should take time to be still and know that He is God. I believe it's when we take that time to be still in the Lord. It's such a busy world. Somebody said, if, if Satan can't make us bad, he'll make us busy. So... You're not gonna see a picture of me today because it's really not about me. But find you a quiet place to go to regularly. Jesus, it's said of Jesus that he would go, he would withdraw to a solitary place regularly and spend time praying to his Father. So if Jesus needed prayer and set an example for us, then we need to follow his example and take regular time to be still and to know that he's God. Jesus says these words, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open his heart, I will come in and have dinner with him. Jesus is calling. Jesus is knocking. Will you let him in?